A section of farmers in Tezo Mbuyuni have begun uprooting their baobab trees for export to Georgia. Farmers say the trees, which are over 500 years old, are a hindrance to modern agricultural practices as the trees consume a lot of water. And as Francis Mutalaki now reports from Kilifi, the farmers there are now adopting food crops. A visit to Tezo Mbuyuni village, you are welcomed by a sight of baobab trees, at least in every farm, many of which have been here for the last 200 to 500 years. At a time when food is scarce due to the drought situation, the farmers are ditching the baobab trees for food crops. <laughs> kunufaa ku, ku, kuwa na nguvu katika ardhi sababu una, unachukua nafasi kubwa kwa hivyo utapata si mimi peke yangu hata kuna majirani eneo za hapa wanayangusha wakiichoma Roland Gala from Tezo Mbuyuni area says he is able to plant cassava maize tomato cabbage and fruits ukulima wetu sisi huku ni wa mahindi na mboga kama vile ma, za majani ambao hatuhitaji mti kama huu uwe katika shamba maana unaleta manufaa katika ile mimea yetu The untarnished tracks of baobab trees go for 100,000 to 300,000 Kenya shillings an investor from Georgia is exporting the baobab tree with a view of putting up an African botanical garden hoping to woo tourists in the near future our park in georgia is uh, unique uh, with the number of uh, variety of trees from different continents uh, so we we adjust uh, climate conditions to each uh, each tree for for example for baobabs we create the uh, environment exactly same like in kilifi the project has also seen the improvement of the road network in the area and education. Farmers now hope they will be able to produce more. Na chakula kikitoka kule paka huku inakuwa very expensive. Kwanza bala tomato moja shilingi 20, unapata kabeji shilingi 50. Lakini kazi zinavyokuza vitu hapa inasaidia community. Tomato nawazia shilingi 5, kabeji nawazia shilingi 20 sababu usijazilipia transport kuzifikisha pale ambapo zalikana ziende. Wanakuja kununua hapa hapa kwa shamba, mapapayu, mapashon, watermelons. Kwa George tumeona kwamba ametutengenezea barabara na pia bado tumejengewa shule ambayo kwa sahi iko katika viwango vinaonekana lakini bado inaendelea kujengwa. Kwa hivyo hii ni baadhi ya faida ambazo tumezipata kutokana na kupeana mibuyu hii um, hadi kule kwa Georgian. But environmental expert Dr. Mwinge Chokwe is urging the preservation of the baobab trees because they are historical and provide habitat for numerous species of insects Reptiles and birds saying their removal could have ecological impact. Ina manufa mengi. Sio mazingira tu, lakini pia ina rutuba na pia ina virutubisho, yani vitamins na elements zingine kama manganese, magnesium. The trees can also withstand harsh climatic conditions as the country grapples with drought and efforts towards attaining food security despite the change of climate. Francis Mtulaki, Citizen TV, Kilifi County.